Welcome back. And when we last left off, we were actually creating this mold, which is the uh, rear lower pressure bulkhead, which mates up with the keel. And so here you can see it's basically been popped from its plug and there just needs to be trimmed around the edges. It came out really well. So the next thing was to do was to create the mold for the upper part of that pressure bulkhead, which mates with the one that you just saw and actually meets up with the aft bulkhead and kind of meets up with the main wing spar as well. So here we are just laying up the first part of it and uh, I won't you know, go through the complete video history of creating this, but there we put down the black coat and then uh, here we're putting down the first layer of fiberglass. And that was a two day process, this one. So we sort of split it into two days so it wasn't so stressful. And this is after the first day and it just has the peel ply on there. And so the next day would be peeling that off and then putting the four layers of uh, heavy carbon fiber on that. And so here's the next day and the guys are actually just starting on doing that. And somebody asked why we use sort of, you know, two light layers and then four heavy layers when we're creating these molds. And it's, it's purely just to add uh, strength that we, um, you know, add the four heavy layers and the lighter layers are just so there's a nice smooth finish on the inside. So you pro progressively get uh, thicker layers of starting with the light glass and then the uh, carbon fiber and you just get a smoother finish overall then. So the next thing to do was to cut uh, some foam, which was gonna make up the sort of braces or the stand for that uh, mold. And those were cut on the mill fairly quickly. And there you can see sitting in place. And so the guys went about um, just putting, a, you know, two layers of carbon over those just to bond them into place. So we have a nice uh, stand for that um, mold now to use it. It's not gonna sort of move around when we have it on the table and we're laying up the part. So the guys, pretty much did all that on their own. I wasn't helping them with the scissors or anything like that this time because I was busy actually cutting all the core pieces for the other mold that we just saw earlier, the smaller one. So there they are. There the um, mold is with the braces on it and all finished up with some peel ply and they did a good job on that. So I'm all happy with that one. So the next thing for that one will be to get released. Okay, so back on the mill, here I am cutting the core, and this is a little weird with the camera going back and forth with it. But yeah, this is just cutting out the core pieces uh, for that lower um, pressure bulkhead that meets with the keel. And then there's a couple of bits of this FR4, which is that heavy uh, fiberglass for reinforcement for where the actual landing gear, uh, the main landing gear bolts in. So I had to cut those couple of pieces as well. So there was about, I don't know, five different pieces of core and the two um, pieces of FR4 for the hard points. And here you can see uh, Jeff and uh, myself laying uh, this up, laying this part up. So uh, this one I think had um, a layer of heavy um, carbon fiber and then I think it was a light layer or no, maybe it was two heavy layers and then the core and then another two heavy layers on that and again with these ones with heavy and light it's just we're trying to build up a certain thickness and so the heavy carbon we consider that as a thickness of three and then we have a medium which is a thickness of two and then a light which is a thickness of one and so this one here i think needed a thickness of six six and then core and then six again so two two layers of heavy and then the core and then two more layers of heavy on there and actually there was a little bit of an extra you just saw there in the middle just to add some extra structural um, integrity to the, the center section. But uh, there's everything going down well and then the peel ply going on that one. So it actually was fairly quick to lay this one up. I think it was only an hour and a half or something like that. So not too long. There's again only a small sort of part. And there's a um, perforated fabric and then the, uh, the breather fabric in there and then Lastly, the, the bag, the vacuum bag, put on there and pull the vacuum on there and, and it's done. And so that's how it came out there. And that was on Thursday. So happy with how that one laid up. And had, had a really good seal on the bag on that one as well. So we're doing uh, better with 
keeping our um, the sticky double sticky tape there all nice and clean so we get good seal and uh, there's the part actually this was a Friday morning popped out and sitting in place there so and trimmed off as well so the other bulkhead that we saw uh, the other day the larger one that sits kind of behind that and you'll see that here in a minute uh, but that's basically there that's the end of the cabin there so um, the rear seats will be just in front of that and it kind of looks short there but that's because the cabin is so wide it's 64 inches across that back um, across that back uh, pressure wall there so uh, quite wide so there you can see there's with the aft bulkhead in there and that sort of chase in between there that's where the gear is and that's where the the um, header tank will be for the fuel and also where the flight controls will come through so that you can get a kind of feel things are really starting to come together now with the parts and, and it's going to be more obviously over the next uh, few weeks when we start uh, working on doing the roof and then the door frames so some people have asked if we could make this a six seater and if you just put a bench seat in the back there um, you could fit four sort of um, you know children in the back seat there um, quite happily because it's like I said 64 inches across there so there's the upper um, pressure bulkhead uh, mold it's been now released today and that came out really well so that'll be ready to get laid up next week and this is our activity for this afternoon so Jeff and I were laying up the uh, part for the keel and off on the side there the guys were sanding on the uh, two different um, plugs for the door frames so left and right door frames so Jeff and I with a keel um, we did two layers of heavy uh, which is equivalent to sort of six and then one layer of medium so another two so for the total thickness of eight as in terms of the, the way we're doing this and, and then these numbers we get in terms of the thickness of what we get back from our structural engineer Mark who's doing all of our FEA, FEA for us um, so we did that laid up basically two layers of heavy and one uh, medium and then we put the core into place and then we bagged it um, so that can all be bonded into place so then coming back next week we'll have to finish it off with another layer of medium and then uh, two more layers of heavy and then that uh, part will be ready to release so there's Jeff uh, laying in the core pieces and you know prior to that I was actually buttering them up um, you know using a little bit of cabasil and uh, resin which just sort of it's like putting some paste on the back to help it uh, stay bonded to uh, to the carbon fiber and so here you can see we're laying the peel ply in there um, that will obviously be taking off next week when we put the remaining layers on there and then the perforated fabric in there and then the breather fabric and lastly putting the bag in there unfortunately that bag was a little short so we had to put like in a little extension on the bag there because the bag material is only a certain length and here it is uh, all laid up and under vacuum so that was the end of today and that's how we left things and it uh, looks like it's uh, came out nicely and we'll see uh, next week when we remove all that and finish the part by laying those extra layers down so again we're happy with that one and as you saw before the guys were working on sanding these plugs for the door frames and it looks like they're you know made quite a lot of progress on those they're getting close to being ready and uh, we may be making some changes to that yet yeah, we're just still thinking about a couple of things but uh, anyway they, they made some good progress on that so happy with that and lastly I just got uh, some pictures or a picture uh, tonight from Mark who has a different Mark who's actually working on doing some welding for us so he's made the engine stand for us that we're going to be using for uh, testing the engine on so that's almost done and next he's going to be making the engine mount so that's our update for this week thanks again for watching